I founded this company in 2005 and really kind of said, look, this company is gonna build differently. We're really gonna pay attention uh, to the details, both from a craftsmanship perspective and from a building science perspective. And building science, if you really boil it down, is really just studying houses to understand why they fail so that you can avoid those failures. We could talk about resiliency and durability and health and indoor air quality, but it basically boils down to a fundamental desire to build a good house for my clients so that I don't have problems down the road and so that they don't have problems. Uh, so this is the unit for the main floor. Mm -hmm. You can see the dehumidifier back behind there. Oh, wow. There's an access panel in the family room. Oh, that's cool. That turned out nice. You really want your ductwork, your HVAC system, to be in air conditioned space. You don't want to put them in garages. You don't want to put them in ventilated attics. You want them to be a part of the house. And as a result, they work more efficiently. My attic is a great place that's comfortable, that feels uh, really like any other room in the house. I've got my dehumidifier up here that runs separately from my air conditioner. But down here, this is one of my favorite things in the house. This is my energy recovery ventilator. This is my fresh air system. It's kind of the lungs of the house. And this is actually the world's most efficient energy recovery ventilator. You know, as I evaluate new products uh, in my career, I'm always a little bit risk averse. Uh, you know, builders have been risk averse for a reason, because if we take a chance on something, that's unproven or untested, then we might be the ones holding the bag, right? So we always are evaluating how much risk is involved with whatever things we're thinking about doing. And it's not as risky to put the wrong Wi-Fi system in as long as you have access to it, but it sure is risky to not put your windows in in a way that you know that they're gonna be waterproof for the next 50 or 100 years. Uh, and the same goes with any product on the outside of your house that's gonna handle the control layers, which in order of importance are water, air, vapor, and thermal. If it's gonna be a part of one of those control layers, we really need to use the best products and the best practices.